So in this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, some important properties about the uh, order of an element and which are which is related to order of the group. So let me state a simple result here. That if G is a group. And uh, A is an element of G. Then. Order of an element always divides the order of the group. So the, the justification for this result is quite simple. So if A is in the group, we will consider the cyclic subgroup generated by A. Okay, this, this cyclic subgroup generated by A, I'm going to denote by H. Now we know that this H is actually a subgroup of G because cyclic subgroup generated by element A is actually what is actually a subgroup which we have seen in the previous lecture, right? So H is the cyclic subgroup and we're using the word sub, subgroup is a cyclic subgroup generated by A. So H is a subgroup of G that is H becomes a subgroup of G and uh, G I'm assuming that G is finite. Okay. And G is finite. Let me write a G is finite group. So G is finite. So by Lagrange's theorem, what I can say is that order of H must divide order of G and order of H divides order of G means order of what is H order of the cyclic subgroup generated by A divides G but we all know that uh, order of the cyclic subgroup generated by A is the same as the order of that element itself right because the cyclic subgroup generated by A contains all the powers of A till you get identity, right? And order of A is also the power at which you again get identity, the smallest power. And order of cyclic subgroup of A is also the same elements. We're just writing the elements identity A, A square up to the order of A. And the elements after that again repeat. So order of cyclic subgroup generated by A will be having suppose k elements then a will also have order k because a raised to k will become what a raised to k will become identity so this order of cyclic subgroup generated by a is the same as what it is the same as order of a and therefore we get order of a divided order of g so this finishes the justification of this result so if we have a group of uh, order say Suppose I have a group of order 18. If order of G is equal to 18, then order of A cannot be. If I try to give the four options, it cannot be two, it cannot be three, it cannot be four, or it cannot be six. Okay. We know that two divides three. Uh, 2 divides 18, 3 divides 18, 6 also divides 18, but 4 does not divide 18. So by the above result, order of A must divide order of G. So therefore, order of A cannot be what? It cannot be 4. So in a group of order 18, you will not be able to find an element which is of order 4. Now, because of this particular important result, uh, what we are trying to prove is the next simple result. So let me state the result. If G is a finite group, and A belongs to G, then 
a raised to order of g is always equal to identity okay so what is the meaning of this if you are having a group which is having suppose 20 elements and you pick any element here pick any element randomly you pick any element then you'll then you'll get to know that the 20th power of a must turn up to be identity if you pick up a b what is the 20th power of b the 20th power of so if you pick any element in the group the 20th power must come up to be equal to identity the lesser power also may come to be identity okay that will be the order of a that will be the order of b it may happen that b is to b raised to 5 is also identity fine that is okay in that case order of b will become 5 if 5 is the smallest power of that element which is giving you identity but in that case still this this particular result guarantees that you take any element that element power the order of that group will always give you identity okay this is true for all this is true for all elements in the group this is true for all a and g this is a combined result for all elements all elements may have different different powers turning up to be identity which are smaller than that order of g but one property that all the elements will satisfy is that all the elements powered with the order of group will always give you identity so let us prove this this is a very simple result it's very obvious result because we have already proved above and result which will be useful so let me write that here proof let order of gbn because it's finite and let a belong to g be any element what i have to prove is that a is to n is equal to identity okay now since a is an element in g then by and g is finite then by above result What can I say by about result? Order of A must divide order of G. This order of A I will call K. Okay, so this means that K divides, what is the order of G? Order of G is N. Means K divides N means n is equal to k times m where m is some integer positive integer actually because it's an order both are orders so m also has to be positive so this means n is equal to km since this relation i will use now since order of a is k what i can say is that a raised to k must be identity because k is the order of that element a so it a power k has to be added but what is uh, but what is a raised to order of g see we want to prove that a raised to order of g is how much we want to prove that it is equal to identity so we'll simplify this which is a raised to n because the order of g is n but what is n n is km so a raised to k into m because n is equal to km this is nothing but a power k raised to m but what is a power k a power k is identity so it is identity raised to m and identity raised to m is identity so this finally concludes that a raised to order of g is also equal to identity okay